good morning my dear holy audience how are you all i hope you are keeping your studies on right we teachers are helping you out for the further uh, continuation of your syllabus all right i hope you have done the uh, yesterday's uh, task which i have given you about the indian and the international place value system and if there is any confusion just let me know all right now let us move further with the uh, first chapter the topic is called estimation all right have you ever heard the word estimation if not then you must have surely heard about the word approximate or uh, rounding off yes means about near about the value see in the today's uh, in today's world this word is of great importance suppose i say that about 5000 passengers were traveling or in the stadium there are uh, 51000 people uh, watching the match so it does not mean the exact number of people i am telling you all right it is not that only 51000 people are sitting and watching the match or only 5000 people uh, were there in the stadium or maybe in in my party there were 3000 people it is approximate value it does not give you the exact value all right it means that somewhere near 3000 or 51000 or 5000 suppose i take i i'll give you an example that uh, 3000 people attended my uh, attended a party that means it it is not it will not uh, switch to 4000 or 2000 it will be somewhere near 3000 like maybe 2900 or 3200 like that so estimation or rounding off will give you the near about value that is why we call it as approximated value estimated value or rounding off now why are we studying this point in maths because there are some rules to round off there are some rules to find the estimated value what are those rules like rounding off till nearest tens till nearest hundreds or nearest thousands these types of three types of questions will be given to you to find out the estimated value if such type of question is not given like to find out nearest to what then we will follow one general rule to find the estimated value we are going to discuss about all these things so let us start with the first rule to find the estimated value um, of the given number to nearest tens all right let me take one example like um, say i take 7 okay now you want to find out the nearest value uh, rounding of 7 to nearest tens so you will find where in which range of 10 7 is lying 7 is lying between 0 to 10 it is not going above 10 all right so if 7 is lying between 0 and 10 we will find the central value of 0 and 10 that is 5 now we will see whether this 7 is in the range of 0 to 5 or more than 5 we see that 7 is more than 5 so it will be closer to 10 so nearest tens of 7 will be 10 let us take some another example suppose i take 33 nearest tens of 33 again we will find the range the range the space which 33 the range the space of 10 which 33 is lying in between 33 lies between 30 and 40 you because we are finding the nearest tens so we will take the range of 10 only we'll move further and i'll let you know so 33 lies between 30 and 40 then after that we'll find the central value of uh, between 30 and 40 what is that central value yes correct that is 35 all right now after finding the central the middle value we will see whether where this 33 is lying below 35 or more than 35 it is less than 35 so it will touch the lower range not the upper range lower range is 30 higher range is 40 so 33 nearest tens of 33 will be 30 and not 40 this is the rule to find the nearest tens and it is not at all necessary that you can take only one digit or two digit number you can find nearest tens of any bigger number if you want i'll uh, i'll discuss one example with you like suppose i take 544 all right 544 again i want to find the nearest tens of this 44 i will take the last two digits tens and hundreds and find the range of this 
so find 544 lies between 540 and 550 we are considering only the range of 10 children mind you depending on the question all right so 544 you will see that it lies between 540 and 550 again find the middle value that is 545 44 is less than 45 so it will cover the lower range that is 540 all right now you will ask me that what will uh, be the nearest tens if the value is itself the middle value suppose i take 15 then what 15 is already the middle value it it comes under the range of 10 to 20 then whenever the central number is only asked and you have to find the uh, nearest tens you will always cover the upper value that is the 20 all right so 15 if you if it is asked to find the nearest tens of 15 it is always 20 okay 15 or more than 15 it will cover the upper range and less than 15 will cover the lower range now switching on to nearest 100 same rule will be there only the range will change range will change from 0 to 10 it will become 0 to 100 we will find we will enlarge our range from tens to 100 suppose i take 73 73 if the question is asked to find the nearest hundreds of 73 then you will find the range that 73 is lying between 0 to 100 and not 70 to 80 make this point very clear children okay so 73 is lying between 0 to 100 again find the mid value 0 to 100 the mid value is 50 and 73 is more than 50 so the dial of 73 is crossing the middle value and it is touching the higher range that is 100 so nearest 100 of 73 will be 100 okay you just have to concentrate on the place values if it is 100 we will find the range of hundreds if it is 1000 we will find the range of thousands okay similarly if i want to find the range uh, nearest hundreds of 300 300 okay so 320 so 320, 320 lies between the range of 300 to 400. 320 is more than 300 and less than 400. So we will make a bracket of it where 320 is lying. It is lying between 300 and 400. And it, the center value is three, 350. Right? So it is less than 350. So that will cover the lower range. That is 300. Correct? Now... Your work is to write few numbers of uh, one digit, two digit and three digits and find their nearest tens, nearest hundreds, alright, according to the rules which I have told you. One more rule is there that is general rule. When the question is not uh, given like to find the nearest value till nearest tens or nearest hundred, it is just given to find the nearest value. Then what will you do? You will be in a big confusion. Here is the nearest value diya hi nahi hai. Ab kaise kare? Usme koi problem nahi hai. You just have to see the highest place value. Whether it is tens, hundreds or thousands and you have to find the nearest value of the highest place value. That's it. It is self understood that if the question is not clear with nearest hundred, tens or thousands, you will solve that question with the nearest highest place value. If suppose it is the 516, and you have to find the round off of this. And the question is not clear with uh, this thing. Mm, nearest tens or hundreds. Then you will see the highest place value. Highest place value here is 100. So you will automatically round off or estimate that value to nearest 100. Okay children. So I hope you have understood the estimated word. Estimation why it is used. And uh, based on this estimation. We are going to solve more. Uh, we are going to calculate more numbers in the class all right first you have to solve it in the given pattern write your own numbers 10 numbers 2 of 10s hundreds and thousands and then you will find nearest tens hundreds and thousands all right i hope you have understood spare some good quality time with your parents and make the best use of this um, staying home all right don't waste your time and study all right bye bye see you all the best